Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to discuss a topic that's confused probably quite a few of you, primers and sealers. Now part of the reason why this topic is so confusing is they serve a very similar purpose and really there are some sealers that are named primers if you look at the cans and vice versa. I, it's just, it's not simple, but really at its core, the idea between primers and sealers, like I said, pretty much the same. It's the prep a surface for paint. Now primers you'll often find in gray or red oxide or, or something like that. And they come in, you know, spray cans or gallons, or sometimes you can get catalyzed primers. People use a three-part epoxy primer for cars a lot of the time. There's a huge variety of them. And one of the key things about primers is they help promote adhesion. And they're usually for use on metal. Now don't get me wrong, they can work on more than metal. You can use primers on wood, you can use plastic compatible primers on plastic, but their key purpose, their general use is for metal. And that's because paint doesn't stick properly to metal. So you need something to bridge that gap, so to speak, and allow for better adhesion. And that's where your primer comes in. Now where the confusion seems to arise is between that and a sealer. I get a lot of people asking me like, hey Brad, I'm gonna paint my guitar with nitrocellulose lacquer. What primer should I use? Well, you shouldn't, you don't need primer. You don't really have that same adhesion issue when you're spraying wood generally. Lacquer will stick straight to your wood. What you do have is an issue with it being a porous surface. And what you need for that is a sealer. You just need something to seal that surface up so it's not gonna take you 50 coats of lacquer to fill in all the pores and finally get to the point where you can do a sealing coat and start to build up a proper gloss. So sealers are designed to be thicker. They're designed to dry faster, build quicker, and really fill all of that in so that you can come in and do your lacquer finish over top or basically any other kind of finish that you're putting on wood. So to clarify, even if I'm doing an automotive polyurethane finish on a piece of wood, I'm still using a sealer. Again, it's about the substrate there. I want to seal all of that up so that when I go to put my product on top, when I go to paint it, I end up with my sealing coat quickly and I'm able to paint it as though it were something smoother than wood. Now sealer, like primer, has some variety to it. You can get a bunch of different kinds. You can get them in spray cans. You can get them in quartz, gallons obviously, pints. There are different kinds of sealers for different applications and, and different ones depending on what you're putting over them. You can use a catalyzed polyurethane as a sealer if you want. It's a bit on the expensive side, uh, so I, it wouldn't be my first choice, but it definitely works. It fills the purpose. It seals, it raises the grain a little bit, and then once you sand back, you can go over that with your paint. Shellac is a popular one. It dries very quickly, it's easy to apply, it's not very toxic, and it sticks to pretty much everything. It's compatible, rather, with pretty much everything, so that makes it a very good option. Sanding sealers. These are one of the most popular options for when you're doing a lacquer finish, but they're also great when you're doing a poly finish. Again, there's not a whole lot of difference in what they accomplish. They dry quickly, they're easy to sand. They're a great product. And then one of my personal favorites, which you'll know if you've been watching my videos for a while, vinyl sealer. Vinyl sealer goes on even thicker and dries faster than most sanding sealers. It's great for sealing open grain woods, MDF, stuff like that. It does a really good job and it does it fast. So as most of you probably know, the vinyl sealer from Bellin is one of my favorite products. It's what I use to seal MDF pieces. It's what I use to seal pretty much all of my guitars before I spray them, regardless of what I'm putting on them. Lacquer, polyurethane, acrylic, and then lacquer, polyurethane. I almost invariably end up using the Bellin vinyl sealer. So what I'm gonna do is put a link in the description, as always, um, or as I have been recently. It's an affiliate link for the vinyl sealer in both the spray can form and the quart form. The spray cans actually spray really nice. You will probably know that already, again, if you've been following me. And of course, if you get it in quart form, you can run it through a gun, spray it crazy fast. It's gonna do a great job, it always does. Full disclosure, those links will be affiliate links, so I'm comfortable backing this product up, but if you buy through those links, it's gonna help me out. As always, if you don't like me, just go around, don't, don't use the links, just go somewhere else and buy it and then it won't do me any good. I'd love to go ahead and recommend you guys my favorite primer as well and throw a link in there for that, but really it's, I just end up using enamel primers from Home Depot most of the time. Uh, I do have a favorite catalyzed primer, like an epoxy primer, but if you're watching this video, you really shouldn't be using that. It's a professional product and actually quite dangerous. Um, so sorry about that. Anyway, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. I really hope that this clears some of that confusion up because this is a topic that a lot of people seem to struggle with.
If you want some of the vinyl sealer, don't forget to check out the links in the description and you can pick it up through there or through anywhere else. Uh, again, I'm fond of the Bell and stuff, but there are other companies that make vinyl sealer and I personally haven't ever tried one that doesn't work. I just like the way that these ones come out. So yeah, as always, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Have a good one.